Hello kids, a bulb is the most commonly used source of light. So today we shall learn how to light a bulb using a cell. The bus fills petrol from the petrol pump and thus petrol pump supplies it energy. Then how does a cell supply energy to bulb? As you know, bulb needs electric current to glow. An electric cell produces electricity from the chemical stored inside it. When we connect the cell properly with the bulb, the chemicals produce electricity. Look at the cell closely. One side is marked plus, that is positive, and the other side is marked minus, that is negative. Why is it so? If you observe the cell closely, it has a small metal gap on one side and a metal disc on the other side. The metal disc is the negative terminal and the metal cap is the positive terminal. To recognize the positive and the negative terminals of the cell easily, one side is marked plus and the other side is marked minus. All the electric cells have two terminals, a positive terminal and a negative terminal. And how does the electric current flow reach the bulb from the cell? Yes, through the wires or more precisely through the circuit. Before that, let us understand the bulb which gives us light a little bit more. Look at the bulb a little closer when it is switched on. A small piece of wire in the middle of the bulb is glowing and emitting light. This small piece of wire is fixed in the middle of the bulb. It is called filament. The filament is fixed to the two thicker wires which also provide support to it. One of these thick wire is connected to the metal case at the base of the bulb. The other thick wire is connected to the metal tip at the bottom center of the base. Now, how would we connect a bulb to a cell to make it glow? If we just connect any part of the bulb using wires to the cell, say the part made of glass, would the bulb glow? No. So there are fixed places on the bulb which we have to connect with the ends of the cell to make the bulb glow. The first place is the screw marks on the metal base of the bulb. The second place is the tip of the metal base of the bulb. These places are called terminals. So, like a cell, the bulb also has two terminals. To reiterate, the base of the bulb and the metal tip of the base are the two terminals of the bulb. Both of these terminals have to be connected to different ends of the cell so that the current can flow through both the terminals of the cell to make the bulb glow. Now we know where to connect the wires in a bulb. Let us help the electric current to reach the bulb. Otherwise, cell would be useless and wouldn't make the bulb glow. Now, let us make a path for electric current to flow. Connect an electric wire to the positive end of the cell. We can use rubber bands or tape to fix the wires to the cell. Now, Connect the other end of the electric wire with any terminal of the bulb. Say, we connect with the terminal which is on the metal base. We can stick the wires to the bulb with the tape used by the electricians. We already know about conductors and insulators. So, the tape and rubber band are insulators and hence we use them for fixing wires. We made arrangements for the current to reach the bulb. But still the bulb is not glowing. Why? Because the cell is not connected to the second terminal. Besides, current cannot come back to the cell. So the circuit is not complete. Let us make the path for current to flow back to the cell by connecting the negative terminal of the cell with the other terminal of the bulb. For this, connect a wire to the other terminal of the bulb, say the tip of the metal base and connect the other end of this wire with the negative end of the cell. Look, the bulb is glowing. Wow! That means the circuit is complete. 
what if we reverse the connection from the bulb to the cell that is the terminal which was connected to the negative terminal of the cell is now connected to the positive terminal of the cell and vice versa well the bulb still glows that shows the bulb doesn't have positive or negative terminal like a cell we started making the path from positive and ended at the negative end of the cell not same end of the cell what if we connect both the terminals of the bulb with one end of the cell only that is either both of the terminals to the positive terminal or both the terminals to the negative terminal of the cell would the bulb glow it seems like it should glow because there is a closed or complete path visible but the bulb won't glow in both the cases and there is a valid reason for it we all know current flows in a fixed direction in the case of cell the current flows from the positive end to the negative end so we need to provide that path between the positive and the negative end of the cell in order that current flows through it current reaches one terminal of the bulb from the positive end of the cell and then comes back to the cell through the wire connected to the other terminal of the bulb now we know both the terminals of the cells need to be connected to the bulb to provide the complete path for the flow of electricity when we reverse the wire connection from the bulb to the cell still the bulb glowed how here again in the cell the current flows from the positive end to the negative end as both the terminals of the cell are connected to the bulb to provide the complete path for the flow of electricity what would happen if the wire is cut at any point it should be simple to answer now yes the current would not be able to complete the tour from the positive end to the negative end of the cell going through the two terminals of the bulb so current wouldn't flow as there is no complete path for it hence the bulb would not glow coming back to the story it was just many bulbs a portable battery to provide electricity to the bulbs and a switch to stop and start lighting of the bulbs that did the trick and the kidnappers ran away in fright that was very funny indeed so now you know how to light a bulb using a cell as the source of electricity both the terminals of the cell are connected to provide the complete path for the flow of electricity the electricity flows from the positive terminal of the cell to the negative terminal of the cell but a word of caution as electricity is dangerous don't attempt to do it alone do it under the supervision of adults and follow all the safety measures bye kids and have fun